regards to uh, Ronald Reagan, what is something that the general public doesn't know anything about that, that you can tell us, maybe a trait, a sure. quirk? Uh, from, I would say, from about 1956 to his election as president in 1980, he never bought a new suit, not once. <laughs> really? Wow. He had all of, his, all of his suits made in Hollywood in the late 50s in a style that was very uh, uh, complimentary to him because he was very broad-shouldered and he was always in great shape. Um, and he was very careful about what he ate. He did not drink alcohol other than an occasional glass of wine. He was very careful about his diet because, of course, in Hollywood, your, your looks are your living. You know, you have to stay fit. You have to stay healthy. You have to stay lean. So he was probably our most healthy president. Uh, and Nancy Reagan tried desperately to get him to buy new clothes, but he refused. He would say, honey, there's nothing wrong with this suit. Why can't I just keep wearing this suit? That's fantastic. And then finally, uh, the third president that you, uh, you actually worked for as well, uh, George uh, H. Yes, Bush. H. W. Bush. And a, yes, a he, had to, he had to look at Hustler magazine in order to get an erection to service <laughs> his mistress, Jennifer Fitzgerald. Oh, you want <laughs> this is something, now again, the always opinionated and always spectacular uh, Roger Stone. Well, I mean, uh, look, he had a long-term affair with a woman named Jennifer Fitzgerald, who I must tell you was not very good looking. Uh, so I understand his need for, shall we say, extra stimulation. The only reason I know that is because her roommate was a woman named Beverly Tipton, who was my personal secretary. So she told extraordinary tales out of school about uh, George H.W., Fantastic. Roger Stone, uh, the uh, book itself is The Clinton's War on Women. The Clinton's War on Women is this book. And then there is uh, Jeb in the Bush crime family, my co-author, uh, St. John Hunt, who is at least temporarily a, uh, a Fort Lauderdale resident. Uh, and we've just turned that book into the publisher, and it's going to be an enormous success. <laughs>